Hi everyone and welcome to my monthly Flying Stars update. My name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. So tomorrow on July 7th, we are entering the month of the fire goat, Ding Wei month. And this uh, Ding Wei month goes all the way to the 6th of August. And during that month, we have a few really, really good areas in our home or our office, uh, whichever you want to focus on, that would be really great to use this month because they have almost no side effects. Usually when we have uh, positive flying star sectors, there will be some slight side effects, uh, but this month virtually none in about four sectors that I'm gonna talk about and that you should really take note of if you want to make the most of the fire goat month. Now, for those of you who are completely new to this, don't panic. Um, all you need to do is stand approximately in the center of your home or your office, and then just take out your mobile phone compass and check where you have all of these sectors. Yeah, just check where you have the south, the north, the east, the west, and so on. And then you know which sector I am talking about and which one of those sectors you should actually be using. So let's have a look at those really good sectors, which are the south, the northeast, the west, and the east. The first one we're going to look at is the south sector. Now, in the south sector, we have the monthly number one star. And this one, in general, is a good star for anything related to partnerships, relationships, but also academics. And so if you have any important business meetings to do um, and you happen to be able to do this in the south sector of your office, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Um, it's especially good for anything, for any industry that is has to be fairly mobile. So if you are in trade, if you are in hospitality, if you are in the travel industry, uh, or if you are in any industry where you really have to take uh, pretty snapshot decisions, quick decisions, then do that in the south. It's an excellent sector for any sort of partnerships for business mergers, but just also an area where you will get a bit of extra help. Yeah. So if you if you position yourself in the south and if you work from home, um, hopefully that is possible. If you need to pick up the phone to ask someone for help, do that in the south sector because that's an excellent sector and the chances of you getting an approval or a yes from the person you're calling is much, much higher. Now, it's also a great sector for academics or for any sort of uh, academic endeavor or effort. So if you need to study for an exam or if you uh, need to write a, a, an academic paper or just need to do some focused work, you can also do that in the South. It's an excellent sector to do that from. Now, the next one we look at is the Northeast sector. Uh, and there we have the monthly number nine, which is also a wealth star. And the number nine in general, um, if you've followed some of my videos, uh, is becoming stronger and stronger as we are approaching the official beginning of period nine, in which the nine star is the most powerful. Now we are already transitioning. We are in this transitioning period. And if you follow the early heaven, Bagua calculation method, then we are already in period nine. But never mind, I don't want to confuse you. Just know that the period, uh, that the number nine star is a very, very auspicious star, especially for anything to do with money related matters, uh, for business, for new ideas, uh, new inspiration, and also for relationships. So um, again, if you happen to be able to work in the Northeast, so if the South for some reason is not possible, maybe it's your kitchen or maybe it's your bathroom, but you can use the Northeast this month, then by all means go ahead and do that because it's, it's a fabulous sector for any sort of career related endeavors. It's really great for anything to do with money. So if you need to plan for financial issues and do that in the Northeast, and it will generally bring um, bring hope. Yeah, the number nine star is one that brings you hope and a good positive vision for the future. So if you can locate yourself in the Northeast for at least an hour or two every day, that would be great. So um, if you are 
a bit in a sad mood or if you're feeling a little bit depressed, you can also use the Northeast sector to just be there and absorb the number nine energies because it brings you renewed hope and a renewed positive vision for the future. It's, it's overall a very, very good sector. Um, now, if you uh, are a couple and uh, the number nine star in the Northeast, so if your master bedroom is in the Northeast, that's even better because you're gonna have a very, very good relationship with your partner uh, this month. There will be hardly any um, arguments or disputes. And if there are any, you can resolve them fairly, uh, fairly quickly. Now, the next one, the next sector we're looking at is the West sector with the monthly number eight. So the number eight is still considered um, a well star, even though its, it's, um, its strength is expiring slowly but surely, but it's still very good for cash flow. So if you are in a cash flow business or if you're working on a, on a side gig at home, um, position yourself in the West sector to do that. Also, again, very good for, for anything to do with finances. So if you need to do your bookkeeping, your accounting, um, or, or your financial planning, you can also do that in the West sector. But most importantly, it's uh, particularly this month, it's a very, very good sector for relationships. So it's, um, it's a sector that enhances the tranquility and, and, and uh, peace in a relationship. It's also appropriate for all those who want to take their relationship to the next level. Um, so if you have your uh, bedroom in the West and maybe you're not yet married, but you're thinking about it, then uh, this would be a very good month to take that next step. So this is a great sector to be in. Um, and then uh, lastly, we've got the East. So the East sector is a very good sector this month for anything to do with studying, academics, um, uh, any sort of learning um, uh, activity. Yeah, so if you can't use the South for studying, then do that in the North. It's a very, very good month to do that. It's suited for any type of intellectual venture. So even if you need to write a paper or some sort of proposal and you just need to focus, then the East sector would be the best sector to do that in. And of course, you can do that either at home or at the office, it doesn't matter. If you're working from home, you're probably a little bit more flexible as to where you can sit. But either way, those four sectors have hardly any side effects, any negative side effects. It's just really positive energy. So take advantage of those four sectors. Now, the sectors we need to be a little bit more cautious about are all the other ones. And it doesn't mean that you can't use them. Um, just use them wisely and don't use them for activities that they are plainly unsuitable for. So let's start with the Northwest sector here with the monthly number seven. So the monthly number seven star brings a lot of competition and sort of friction and tension at the office um, or just irritability. Yeah, if you are locating yourself in the Northwest sector, you are going to be a little bit more competitive, a little bit more assertive. You're going to um, probably become more argumentative with your colleagues, your coworkers, even your family members. And so that can create a lot of tension. Now, if you are living alone, um, then probably being in the Northwest sector is not such a bad thing because it can also obviously enhance your ability to speak, but um, just be a little bit careful not to get into all the fights that are out there. Yeah. Um, the number seven can also bring um, a heightened risk of losing your valuables or, or just some theft robbery. I mean, robbery, robbery is a bit of a strong term, but you may just lose some money or you may lose your wallet, or you may lose your keys or something like that if you spend a lot of time in the Northwest. And it's not to say that you lose those items in the Northwest. It's if you locate yourself in the Northwest for let's say two hours per day or more, then you are a little bit more prone to losing things and maybe having things taken away from you. Now, if this happens to be your bedroom, don't panic. Uh, just be a little bit more careful. 
And uh, with all the negative sectors, if you don't activate them by hammering, drilling, uh, moving furniture around or any type of water feature, then you'll be fine. Yeah, so you just keep those areas quiet and you don't really have to worry about the negative energies. Now, the next one we want to be a bit careful of is the north sector here with the monthly sickness star. So the monthly sickness star is not really anything to worry about if you are relatively healthy, uh, if you don't suffer from any chronic illnesses. Um, then you may get a sore throat or maybe a cough or maybe a stomach bug and that's pretty much it. But if you are pregnant, if you are an elderly person already suffering from chronic issues or if you are uh, if you have an infant, then don't let these people sleep in the north if possible because that may aggravate uh, health issues. Yeah, so especially for pregnant women, I would say avoid the north sector if you can, especially for sleeping, maybe sleep somewhere else if that's at all possible. Um, so stay out of those sectors. Uh, if you're healthy, not to worry. Yeah, you can use the sector. Don't be too worried about it. Uh, then we've got the southwest with the monthly number three. The number three is the um, argument star. Now, as the name implies, it makes you a bit more argumentative. And so this could bring legal disagreements, legal disputes. So if uh, you happen to work at an office and you need to sign anything at all, like any type of legal document, don't do it in the Southwest. Take the paper, sign it somewhere else, sign it in the Northeast or the South or the West or wherever, but don't sign legal documents in the Southwest or in the Northwest for that matter. Yeah, not in the fire goat month. Um, because you may overlook certain details that then later on create legal disputes. And you really want to avoid that because those can lead to financial losses. Yeah, so be careful with that. Now, there is a bit of a positive spin with the Southwest, uh, generally with the number three star. While it makes you more argumentative and brings in disputes and arguments, uh, it can also give you more courage. Yeah, usually once we have more courage, we start arguing more yeah, because we tell other people what we want, what we don't want. So if you need to work on your self-confidence, you can locate yourself in the Southwest sector, but by all means, please do not sign any legal documents in the Southwest. And then lastly, we've got the number five. So the number five, it's also called the five yellow or the calamity star. And it's generally considered uh, the most negative energy uh, in the flying star system. Now, if you know how to use this star, you don't have to be afraid, but I would say um, just to play it safe, uh, don't um, make any drastic changes in the Southeast sector this month. So don't hang up pictures, don't, don't put a nail in the wall, don't do any hammering, no drilling, don't move furniture around, don't place a water feature there. Um, just keep that sector relatively quiet as much as you can. And um, this is also one of those sectors that pregnant women should avoid spending too much time in. Because just as the North sector, the Southeast brings the, the risk of complications when it comes to uh, health. It also brings a risk of financial loss. So don't do, <clears throat> don't do your financial planning in the Southeast because you will take the wrong decision. Even if you're absolutely convinced it's the right decision, something will go wrong. And um, that will then obviously not be uh, not contribute to your to your overall wealth situation or financial situation. So no important decisions in the Southeast and stay out of the Southeast for any type of career related planning or financial planning if you can. So this is it for the month of the fire goat. So now you know which sectors to use the South, the Northeast, the West and the East. Make use of them as much as you can. They are really positive this month. All the other sectors just don't upset the energies and don't uh, do any drastic activities in those areas and you'll still be fine. Yeah, Not to be afraid too much. I'm not going to tell you not to use half of your office or half of your flat. You can use all of it just with selected activities. All right. So I wish you all the best for the fire goat month. Uh, if you have any questions, 
or any comments, please let me know. All my contact details are in the notes below. And I'd really love it if you'd help me share this video, um, share it with people who may be interested in it, uh, subscribe to my channel and just get the word out. See you soon.